All right. I'm pretty much just going to wing it, kind of. I'm going over this question because it's kind of tricky. Uh, and um, I want to explain where this stuff comes from. Uh, SOA just writes some things down. I don't think they offer much explanation. So I'm hoping that you will see how we arrive at this answer from what I'm going to give you. Um, so I didn't want to write down all the details of the questions. This takes up a bunch of room, but I have them here. All right, so you're given the information about a loan. It's paid with a series of 16 annual payments. And the first payment is 2000 and is due one year from now. So I'm going to actually uh, write the 2000 um, right here. Okay, the, the 2000 is the first payment. So first payment. Is 2000. And it's due uh, right here. Okay, so at time one. Okay, I'm kind of doing weird notation right now because um, I just don't want to run out of room. All right, this is in years. Uh, everything here is in years. Important to realize that. Everything's in years. Uh, then what they say is that we basically have subsequent payments increasing. Okay, the next seven payments are 3% larger than the preceding. So the first one is two grand right here. Okay, so I'm imagining to myself multiplying 2,000 by everything. Okay, keep that in mind, 2,000 by everything. So the first one's 2,000, right? So 2,000 times one. First one's 2,000. Next one is increasing by 3%, okay? Increasing by 3%, and they keep on increasing by 3%. I'm not gonna go through the argument of this as to why this is 1.03 times 2,000. This should be pretty easy. It's increasing by 3%. So that's 2,000 plus 0.03 times 2,000. That's 1.03 times 2,000. So next one increases by 3% as well, All right? So make that argument if you need to. Next one increases by 3%. They keep increasing by 3% uh, for the next seven payments, right? The next seven payments, so all the way up to right here, 1.03 to the seven. And then what they say uh, is that the ninth through the 16th will be 3% less. So once I get to the ninth, actually, it's 3% less than this one, okay? So this one, keep in mind, it's 2,000 times 1.03 to seven. Now this is 3% less, so 0.97, right? So this is 3% less than this one. I need this factor still. So this is 1.03 to the seven times 0.97. You may need to think about that for a second. Again, we have this payment here. This is actually 2,000 uh, times 1.03 to the seven. That's my eighth payment. The ninth payment is 3% less than this one. So I need to take this one, take this payment, and then I need to uh, subtract, okay, 3% of that payment. Write that down if you need to. This is what you get. This is 3% less than the previous payment. Okay? Keep in mind, everything has a factor of 2,000 in front of it. So now this goes all the way down to here. These are going to be decreasing each time. Right? Each payment after that is 3% less than the preceding. So now I'm going to write uh, over here. I still have the 1.03. Okay, so this is 1.03 to the 7. 0.97 to the something. And then I have one more uh, right here, 1.03.97. God, I hate running out of room. I'm going to change something real quick. I'm just going to change this to 16 because it's so freaking annoying. All right. So let's think about this a second. Uh, I didn't put a power on this 0.97 yet. What is the power? Think about this. Um, the way I like to do it. A lot of this, as I mentioned before in previous videos, a lot of this comes down to just annoying counting arguments. Nine corresponds to the power of one. If I go to 16, let's see, nine minus eight is one. I need to subtract eight from 16, so that's eight. So 
But there are all of my payments. Now, how am I going to find the loan, which is the present value? Okay, so the loan, I'm evaluating everything at time zero, right? Because this is when my loan was made. I'm evaluating at time zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up right here. I'm going to deal with first these payments right here, okay? I'm just going to deal with those first. So what is the present value of that? So this is equal to, I have the 2,000, it's a factor in everything. So this is 2,000 times, right? Uh, one, well actually V, right? V plus 1.03 V squared. Okay, so these pow the power on 1.03 and the power on V differ by one. I'm gonna go all the way up to payment eight plus keep going at payment eight this is going to be 1.03 to the seven v to the eight okay so that takes care of actually these eight payments now i want to deal with the last uh eight right so what are the last eight going to be so this is going to be plus now i still have a 2000 there so 2000 now what else do i have I have this factor of 1.03 uh, raised to the 7th power in all of those as well. I'm going to take that out. 1.037. And now what's left over? Now, now to be a little bit careful here, I'm discounting everything to time 0. Okay, so now I have a 0.97. So this is 0 0.97. V to the what? Well, this is right here. I need to discount it all the way back to time 0. Uh, so this is v to the 9. Okay, and now I need to go all the way up to uh, 0 0.978 v to the 16. So let me just reiterate what I've just done here. These payments, these cash flows right here correspond to, to up to time 8. And now I need to, what I just did a second ago is I went from... Uh, time 9 all the way to time 16 and that represents these right here so I'm going to discount these all the way back to the beginning this is my answer but how the hell do I find this I'm not going to do this individual with you I mean that'll take forever it's annoying you don't have time for that this is what I'm going to do I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to basically use geometric theories okay all you care about pretty much anything to do with the financial <laughs> mathematics portion uh, of exam FM is pretty much all geometric series unless you're using the BA2 plus we don't need the BA2 plus here and we're actually Yeah, you don't even want to use it, right? So I'm gonna use the geometric series. I'm gonna clean it up to make it look like one though Some of you might be saying oh, there's a formula for this, you know, because uh, the payments are geometric progression I choose not to remember that. I don't care I might remember I'm not gonna there's so many formulas to remember. I don't care about memorizing that one It takes me just as much time just to write it out, just to figure it out. So it's not a big deal, okay? So this is equal to, I'm gonna factor out a V here. So this is equal to 2000 V. What's left over? Uh, this is one plus 1.03 V plus dot, 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 plus, uh, here we have um, 1.03 V to the seven, right? I just factored a V out of this. In fact, let me just write L again. So then we have this, right? Uh, now, what am I gonna do here? Here I'm gonna factor out a V to the eight, actually. I'm actually gonna factor out um, uh, not only V to the eight, I'm actually gonna factor out uh, V to the nine times uh, 0.97. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So this is equal to, so plus, plus 2000 times 1.03 to the seven. Okay, I'm factoring out 0.97 times V to the nine. Okay, times 0.97 uh, v to the 9. What is left over here? 
I took out one of these. That means it's going to be to the seventh power. This I took out a nine of those. So that's also going to be to the seventh power. So this is one plus, keep going, 0 0.97. Let me write it this way actually. Uh, B to the seventh. So I brought these together, and that's what I'm doing. Basically, I'm basically matching the powers. So now it's going to be a nice geometric sum. So I claim that this is, we're in good shape here. We're in good shape here. So do whatever you have to do to convince yourself this is right. <laughs> and we're good. And now I'm going to do one more step. I'm just going to write it as a geometric sum now. And then um, I'll leave it to you to use the calculator. And I'll, I'll, say, I'll write down what you should get. Uh, but this is what we have. So we have 2000 V times quantity. Now, how do I sum up a finite geometric sum. Well, the way I think about this, I like to have one in front. This is one minus the common ratio raised to how many terms I have. The common ratio is 1.03V. How many terms do I have? Well, I have seven minus, well, this is a zero, minus negative one, so I have eight terms, divided by one minus the common ratio, 1.03V. Right? Uh, plus, plus, now I'm going to deal, so this is six here, the first part. Now I'm going to deal with the, the, the second part here, and I can already see that I'm not going to have room. Let me give myself a little more room, and let me just write this a little more compactly. Uh, all right, so I have this, 1 minus uh, 1.03, V to the 8 over 1 minus 1.03v plus, okay, now I have all this business in front right here, right? So now this is 2,000, and I have 1.03 to the 7, 0.97v to the 9, and now what's this going to be? This is going to be 1 minus 0 0.97 V to the 8 again over 1 minus 0 0.97 V. This is my answer, and actually, uh, you can type this entire thing into the BA2 plus, or sorry, not, you don't need the BA2 plus, into the TI 30, into this, into the TI 30 XS multi view is what I've been using. I use this in addition to BA2 plus, this is what I use exclusively for exam P. But for FM, I'm using this and the BA2+. Plus. Now, what I recommend doing, by the way, uh, to compute this is I, oh, I often do this, actually. I store V. Uh, we're given, actually, the interest rate. The interest rate is 7%. The interest rate is 7%. So what I recommend doing, what I always do personally on the BA2+, plus, or on the TI, on the TI 30, Excess is I do this. Uh, I store V. So what I do is um, I do 1.07 to the negative one, and then I, I store that as X. I store that as X. So what I do real quick, maybe I'll just do it real quick here. Um, what I'll do is I'll do 1.07. Um, raise to the negative one, and there's a store button, store x, and I'll use this, this will be what I la labeled as v, and then you can plug, literally, I plugged in this entire thing in this, and what you should get is the following, you should get 20688.63324. Um, and let me, <laughs> I did this a second ago. Let me just make sure my powers are good here. Yeah. All right. So, 
it all comes down to this line down here. But basically, I mean, hopefully you're seeing where this comes from. Um, SOA, they, they do it in pieces. They do this piece, then they do this piece, and then they're done. You can do that way if you want. But um, I thought I'd at least give you this equation, um, just this long equation that gives you all in one what the loan is. So loan equals this whole thing. This is what you should get when you plug it in. And uh, that's how I approach the problem. So tell me what you think. And I hope it was helpful.